Hey there guys, Dan from Techno DC, and with a, another video for you. Um, obviously with all the unboxing videos I've been doing recently, I thought it was time, now I finally got it all set up to actually have a tour of a geek's desk room. Um, I apologise for my concentration, is that this new camcorder that I've actually got, um, is, it's got face tracking technology, which is pretty weird because there's like this box moving around on the screen next to it. Um, so without further ado, obviously here's the tour of a geek's desk. If any of you guys remember from my old channel, obviously I had the 20 inch iMac because I keep going on about it in every video. Um, it's the same desk and, and some of the same components but there's quite a new, um, there's obviously a new feel to it and the way that I wanted it set up. So, as I said, with it, without further ado, here we go. Okay, so we'll start off down here. Um, this is basically the, um, the little stand that is actually next to the desk. Um, it's obviously just a, a tiny, I apologise for the noise, that was my knees getting old. Um, just a small little stand that's actually next to the desk. Um, the camera is going to struggle to autofocus because the lighting here isn't brilliant. A 7 port USB hub which is newer than my old one. There's two ports on the front and uh, five ports on the rear which are all used at the minute. Um, so obviously I'll just keep the two front ones um, free in case I need to plug any USB uh, devices into them like iPod leads whatever. Uh, next door to that is a 1TB um, standard internal hard drive in a USB enclosure which is made out of uh, metal. It has a separate mains power supply. I use that for my time machine backup um, for the Mac. Plenty, plenty big enough storage space. Um, you know, it, it's big enough for what I need it for. But sat next to that which you might not be able to see too well is a, um, a Seagate GoFlex drive. Um, I've had this for quite some time now. It's a 250 gigabyte model I believe. Um, I don't really use it. I put some DMG files and things like that on there but nothing you know fantastic. It's, it's just used for various backups. Uh, and then going up on the top here, now we're in better light. The camera should perform slightly better. I do apologise for the fact that it is taking a bit of time to focus but I, the lighting isn't the best in here. Uh, on the top here is a, a Freecom uh, external hard drive. This is only 80 gigabytes, which it does say at the front there. Um, not the biggest of drives, but again, I don't need a big drive. Plus, it, it kind of suits. It's the same sort of metal um, as the MacBook Pro. Again, it's powered externally from a separate power source, and it's just a um, 3.5 inch uh, 7200 uh, 7, RPM drive. At the back here we have the Creative X mod, which is basically like an external USB sound card, which is compatible with Mac and Windows. Uh, again, made by Creative there. I've had this for years. I mean, guys that used to watch my old channel, you'll remember this from the iMac. It does give you different sound effects. Um, you have a volume control on here, which has got a nice feel to it. And that just is, is powered and runs through USB. And then this is just the... Um, the uh, speaker connection to the um, speaker system I have. Then over here is uh, what runs everything, the 13.3 inch MacBook Pro and yes if you are noticing there is a slight ding in the back, I can't believe you know I've already damaged it, um, I, I didn't mean to when I was moving the room around it kind of just happened and, and it, it, it still functions perfectly fine, you know, it's not damaged the screen in any way, but it's just a shame that obviously it has uh, damaged the casing at the back. Um, plugged into that we have the USB cable for the Creative X mod, the USB cable for the 7 port USB hub which is down below, mini display out to um, standard display port, and the standard MagSafe charger which is pretty much always on charge. Uh, it is currently running in clamshell mode. If I open it up, it will obviously act as a, a, separate, a secondary display to the one that is on the desk. Um, but obviously, you guys have seen them all before. A MacBook Pro is a MacBook Pro. So moving on underneath the desk, which again, we might struggle for light. In the corner here, which you guys can barely see at all, is the subwoofer for my LG surround sound system. The camera's having a real hard time focusing here, so I do apologise, guys. Um, next, which when I do tour of a geek's room, then you'll obviously see that uh, a bit more in depth. Next to that is a 10 port tower um, power hub, which does have five sockets on either side with a couple of power supplies plugged in at the minute, nothing fantastic. 
Uh, down here we have a bin and next to that are a couple of boxes and some packing um, envelopes a little notepad and the subwoofer for my Logitech Z4i speaker systems again had it for years you guys all know what it is I should really upgrade I mean I've been looking on the Apple website to see what sort of new speaker systems they have and you know I'm thinking about getting some I mean there's a really nice set on there I can't remember what make it is but it looks really funky and I'm thinking about uh, obviously uh, buying that soon so moving on to the top of the desk starting from left to right we have the left channel uh, Logitech Z4i speaker system I've got to admit this is a, it is a pretty good speaker system I mean for what I've used it for over the years it's never touched wood failed or let me down in any way shape or form you know it's, it's worked perfectly fine for everything I've needed it for and it sounds pretty damn good as well especially running through the Creative X mod down there it, it really does kick out some nice sound um, then on the left here we have a white 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi version iPad uh, it's just the iPad 2 with um, a load of Facebook notifications and an eBay notification uh, it's in a, a cheapo eBay hardback case which does actually support the um, uh, magnetic Apple official cover which I've never bothered to buy to be fair it's kind of a gimmick thing really next to that is my white 8GB iPhone 4 which is very very shortly due an upgrade I did think about getting the iPhone 5 but I'm probably just going to hold out for the 5S because if it's only a few months there's not much point in, in upgrading now uh, moving along from there is my uh, newer design Apple wireless keyboard which does have the latest um, hotkeys on I think it's from Mission Control that one there not really sure but other than that it's pretty much standard other than the fact that it takes two batteries over the original previous model which took three then moving on again from that is my Apple um, Bluetooth Magic Mouse which the, the previous video to this obviously was the unboxing video for that I decided to swap the trackpad for this mouse because I decided that it was too difficult to use I, I just couldn't get on with the trackpad at all it, it was hurting my wrist the way that you had to angle your wrist up um, and it, you know, it just, I, I prefer this, it's got a nice click to it um, and you know, it's, it, I just prefer a mouse over the trackpad the gestures and everything in the trackpad was cool it was a gimmicky feature, I, I didn't, well I wouldn't say gimmicky but it was a good feature and I, you know, I did enjoy using it but the, the Magic Mouse is a lot better than the previous Mighty Mouse versions Apple's have done anyway uh, going over to the right hand corner here we have the right channel Z4i speaker along with the control for it which you can control bass, volume and obviously the power switch there's a blue LED indication light just to say that it's turned on simply turns on and off and then in the centre there we have the centrepiece Dell uh, 24 inch I think the model number is 2412M I ordered this from Amazon, there is an unboxing video previously a couple of videos back now um, I believe it was before the MacBook Pro unboxing I can't really remember um, I use this for obviously on my workstation everything it's a fantastic looking monitor, it's got the full 24 inch resolution, I think it's uh, 1920 by 1200 uh, a lot better than the 1080p monitors anyway and it does have a really nice sleek design to it uh, we've got USB ports on the side there and I believe this is an LED backlit model as well so I very very much enjoy using this and it's got a really cool stand to it as well the whole thing does lift up and is height adjustable and you can rotate the monitor round and everything else and underneath the monitor if it will focus is a PQI 8GB USB stick which has a bootable version of Lion on that's of any interest to you and that guys is pretty much it I'll just pan back and you can get like a full view of the whole uh, the whole desk uh, so obviously with the kind of workstation down here with the MacBook Pro and all the backup drives underneath the subwoofer, the power um, and the second subwoofer for the Z4i and then on the top here the two speakers, the iPad, iPhone wireless keyboard and everything and also a quick view of my chair which currently has a towel on the back of it I've had that chair for years, I mean I think I used to Ustream with that chair as well, very very comfy many adjustable positions it is kind of wearing the leatherette feel to it is kind of wearing off the side but you know for what it is you can't complain it's a, it's a very very comfortable chair but anyway guys um, that's kind of the end of the video really I need to obviously sit down and edit this now 
and um, with the camcorder that I've bought, obviously it records straight to an SDHC card, which makes life a hell of a lot easier. That can plug straight into the side of the MacBook Pro without having to mess about with USB leads, transferring data, so much easier with the uh, SD card. So thank you very much for watching as always. Don't forget to obviously comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And just a quick shout out to anyone following me on Twitter. Um, obviously if you see your name there then don't forget to comment on the video. I think there is um, yeah, there's quite a few people obviously out and about on Twitter tonight. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you very soon.